The U.S.-Mexico border is about 2,000 miles long, much of it harsh desert. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people cross it illegally. I went through the desert in Arizona three years ago, through Sonora. People who are looking for work, like Manuel Torres. There was an intense heat through the desert, and we had to carry jugs of water, but then we finished them. The 26-year-old illegal immigrant tracked through the inhospitable Arizona desert, risking death. Every year, an untold number of people crossing in from Mexico die on their journey. Casualties of heat, dehydration, and starvation. In scenes from the documentary The 800-Mile Wall, activist John Hunter plants water jugs in the desert. Hunter is a conservative and brother of former Republican Congressman Duncan Hunter. He doesn't encourage illegal immigration, but says he places water stations to help migrants avert certain suffering and death from the elements. The arrow that's telling me that we need to go that way. Enter researchers at the University of California, San Diego. They're testing cell phone technology to help migrants find the water stations Hunter plants. It's really to us about giving water to somebody who's dying in the desert of dehydration. By using software that harnesses global positioning satellite signals, it can tell border crossers from Mexico how to find water, potentially roads, towns, and border patrol stops. Right. So we're, we're trying to uh, address this first with a kind of a quasi-Hippocratic oath that we don't hurt anybody first. Here's how it works. Choices pop up in the screen of known cataloged water stations. The user chooses one, and then a compass tool pops up to direct you to the water. Anti-illegal immigration groups have blasted the software makers. The U.S. Border Patrol has been more muted. It already blankets the border with high-tech sensors and cameras. It's a question of responding to existing social conditions. And millions of people are crossing the border, and so we, uh, we're looking at the the situation. And the irony is not lost in the academics that their salaries are publicly funded. They're creating something that many see as enabling lawbreakers, but they see this as a humanitarian tool. Well, I think that their hearts are probably partially in the right place. Okay, if you really just intend to save lives, I'm with you. Okay, I'm, I'm with you totally. Hunter hasn't been in contact with the researchers. He says they'll have to be, as he's been responsible for installing hundreds of water relief stations in the desert. The cell phone tool may be ready by the summer, and the makers plan on distributing it through non-government aid groups across the border. John Moe, The Associated Press, San Diego.